Hi, so today is the 22nd of December and you have the 22nd adoption mass. And if you've not seen any of my rest of my little mini truths and tips, it's all in a playlist, check it out. So yeah, 22. So I can't believe I've managed to find these 22 tips leading up to Christmas, but I have got enough to take us up to Christmas day, yes. Today I'm going to talk about another truth. So I've talked about the fact that you will have sleep disruption yourself for sure when you have an adoption and you need to find ways of helping helping yourself with that. But also of course sleep disruption for the child who has come from a different place and is settling in with you and trying to come to terms with a new room, a new routine and trauma can play a big part in bedtimes. Um, many adopters that maybe they find everything else is okay, they really, really struggle with their adopted children to help them for nighttime. And because trauma can, and you know, abuse and neglect can really have an effect on a child, the nighttime seem to be forever worse for them, the worst thing for them. So um, I've often used a book with my adopted children, foster children, to help them for nighttime. And I'm just going to show you that now. So there are no there's no such thing as monsters under the bed because in my experience children start checking under beds behind wardrobes in wardrobes by curtains they really are freaked out by the fact that there might actually be something in their room so a really cute book obviously for you know little ones really but I still think you could go with it up until about seven there's a little bear and a big bear because they're obviously not wanting to say mummy or daddy or refer to any of that. So it could be used for any parent, any adopted child. And he wants to sleep in his own room away from big bear. And then he sees various shadows happening um, and he thinks, he keeps calling big bear and he thinks that it's because there's something under the bed. And it always ends up being the shadow of a toy or a sock or something silly. And Big Bear keeps saying to him, you know, you know, don't be silly, it's just this or it's just that. And so it goes through all of these things. Look, there's a sock under the bed. Lovely book. I will link that in my description below as an affiliate link if you'd like to support the channel if you want to buy it. Um, you don't have to, of course, but that would be lovely. And tomorrow we're on to truth number 23. And I won't have any more books for you tomorrow, so it'll go back to being quite short and snappy little videos because as we get nearer to Christmas I'm sure you've got better things to do so thank you for supporting the channel and I'll see you tomorrow on day number 23